Caterina, devo fare le lasagne con le melanzane. 90-year-old Caterina lives in Cusa Sclafani, Sicily. She loves her vegetable garden, which the family thinks has been in cultivation since Arab times, 10 centuries ago. These days, her grandsons look after it. Katerina slices up four just-picked tomatoes. She adds these to a pan with a sliced onion, a garlic clove and a pinch of salt. She then cooks this without oil or water for 15 minutes. Katerina peels her melanzane or eggplants and makes short, tongue-shaped slices. She leaves them in salted water for a few minutes and then rinses them. Katerina pats them dry and fries the slices in olive oil. She wants them nice and nut-coloured on both sides. Katerina puts the collapsed tomatoes through a food mill to make a lovely puree. Only then does she add the olive oil to the sauce, along with plenty of basil leaves and the eggplant slices. Katerina scrambles four eggs with around 50 ml of water. She is using 500 grams of semolina flour. Granddaughter Anna Rita helps. Katerina has always used eggs with her semolina flour. The combination makes a firm dough, which is hard work to knead and roll out. She likes to add a little olive oil to her board to help her. Caterina calls this lasagne. Non-Italians tend to think of lasagne as a layered baked pasta, but here lasagne refers to the dough sheets. Caterina leaves her pasta sheet to dry a little on her tablecloth for 20 minutes. She is keen to share with you what she does while the dough rests. Caterina is also an expert in decorated bread, which she makes every year for St. Joseph's Day on the 19th of March. She then rolls it up and cuts it into tagliatelle ribbons. Good. Tagliatelle piccole. Così, vedi? Queste sono tagliatelle piccole. Caterina cooks her pasta in boiling salted water for five minutes. Pura che a me è momento è cotta perché è fatta fresca. She layers her pasta with a tomato sauce and then mixes the two together. She adds the eggplant at the end and finishes the dish with grated ricotta salata. She makes this cheese herself, covering fresh ricotta and salt and leaving it to dry in the fridge for a week or so. <laughs> when all the ingredients are homemade like this, you know the finished dish will be amazing. And grandsons Emanuele and Salvatore tuck in. Buon appetito! Bravo, nonna. Click on the subscribe button for regular helpings of Pasta Grannies.